it's far from me. And that's what people do today. They give a lot of lip service. Even wicked people, you know, you see them getting awards and it's, oh, well, you know, and I want to thank my God, right? Uh, Chadwick Boseman, Bosman, or whatever you call his name, the brother that died. And, you know, hey, I'm not trying to put nothing on, on a dead man, but I saw that, that despicable movie, right? Uh, uh, Ma something. What is it, Sister Carol? Ma Rainey. Thank you, Sister Carol. <laughs> Got my helper back there helping me out. Ma Rainey, right? I saw that. I don't care if you're acting or not acting, you don't blaspheme God and claim you believe in God and claim you was in church. Hallelujah. I don't know why he died, because God didn't reveal that to me. And I hope he got his life together, but blaspheming against the Holy Ghost, once you're a believer, you can't be forgiven of that. And that's why you got to be careful of stuff that you do. You're doing what the world tells you to do. Acting. Those that, that, that thought that was a good movie, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Because that was despicable. If you believe in God. If you believe in Yahweh and you serve Him. That was a disgusting movie. And Chadwick was disgusting in what he said. Even in acting. I don't care who he was trying to. I, if I'm a believer, I, nah, I don't do that. There's certain, there's certain lines you don't cross. As a believer, you have principles. Right? And he, he, he violated that. So, they worship him, Yahweh, with their lips. But their heart is far from him. We see it all the time. Right? Even Denzel watching it, he has something to do with that. See, these guys, they'll trick you. And I'm a believer, I'm this, I'm that. And you fall for that and you think they're powerful because they're a celebrity and a public figure. And you go for all that kind of stuff. And then they drag you right down a hell hole. And God even warned us in Deuteronomy about even prophets, right? If they come and prophesy and it comes true, but then they say, let's go follow other gods. He said, you, you're supposed to kill that person because they're trying to mislead you and take you away from God. And God is testing you. So you could be getting tested by these people, trying to make them heroes and trying to make them uh, uh, something that they're not. Don't, get, don't fall for that stuff. I don't care who they are. Hallelujah. You know, you got to stick with the Lord. Stick with the word and anybody to violate the word, cross them out. Hallelujah. Until they repent. And some things they ain't no coming back on. Hallelujah. And if he already knew he had his Chadwick already knew he had cancer with done, and he believed he was an idiot. Ain't no way I would have done that. So he says, these people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. And that's what you see. And in vain they do worship me. Why? Because their teachings as doctrines, rules made by men. Now a lot of people say, oh, that's just tradition. You know, people attack me all the time because of holiness. Oh, that, that's, you know, that's, that's, that's old phobic stuff. But yet you're following all this traditional stuff. At least what I'm doing is scripturally based and, and have scriptural principles behind it. But that stuff don't have no scripture base at all, right? And people will, will cut your throat try to, and, and go off on you for you coming in on their Christmas and on these celebrities like Chadwick and other folks. <laughs> Hallelujah. If he's in hell, I don't feel sorry for him. Let me just tell you that. Because he shouldn't have blasphemed God. And that, that's on him because he knew that. So if...